Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We are on to lesson six of this unit and on to our third uh, exponent law, which is raising a power to a power. We've done when we multiply terms with the same base, we add those exponents. When we divide exponents uh, or divide powers with the same base, we uh, subtract those exponents. And when we raise a power to a power here, we are going to multiply the exponents together. That is the rule. When you have a power of a power, you multiply. Let's jump right into some examples. You have the questions. I have the questions. All right. So we have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 4. So this is what it, what it means when it says we have a power of a power. So this exponent applies to this whole thing. And this is just a term in and of itself. So when we have a power raised to a power, we are going to multiply the two powers. So that's two times four, which is eight. So this simplified is two to the power of eight. I'll put my brackets to make it clear. Two to the power of eight. So when you have an exponent of an exponent, you multiply. If we move over and we do number 18, we have two to the power of two, all to the power of two. So two times two is four. So this is two the power of four. Okay? Raising a power to a power, you just multiply those two numbers together. We have next six squared to the power of three. Two times three is six. That's six to the power of six. You do not need to solve these. We are simply uh, making them as simple as possible, simplifying them. I said simple several times there. Next one is three raised to the power of four and then all raised to the power of four. We are multiplying an exponent of an exponent. So that is 16, three to the power of 16. If you feel like you're getting the hang of this, go ahead and pause. Then go ahead and see if you got the right answers. Um, and go ahead and move on to the practice if you did, but let's go to the next one. I encourage you to check these out. All right. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna slide the paper over. I'm just gonna slide the paper over. Let's do that. Put a little line. Ignore what's to the left of it for now. We have six to the power of three, all raised to the power of four. So three times four is 12. That's six to the power of 12. <clears throat> We've got the next one. So this is four to the power of three, all raised to the power of two. So three times two is six, that's four to the power of six. I'm gonna throw a wrench in the next one. I know it's not in this question, but this is gonna see if you're paying attention. Uh, let's have four, instead of the power of two, let's go to the negative two. And then it's raised to the power of four. Let's see what happens. If we have uh, these, a power of a power, we still just multiply. So four uh, is our base. Negative two times four is negative eight. So that's four to the power of negative eight. But we cannot have negative exponents in our answer, as you know. So we are going to take and flip that over. One over four to the power of eight. Okay. So if you end up with negative exponents, and I think you might, at least you will in future lessons, we always take it and we put it on the bottom. Let's do our last one. Eight squared to the power of two. Two times two is four. This ends up being eight to the power of four. If you have any questions about this, ask myself, ask a friend in class, ask somebody across the room. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you soon.